Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 the lore series. As you remember from the previous episode, we just entered the under um, the under passage to the sewers. And this is a big area as I told you before. There is a lot to see and explore here. Uh, actually, I heard some voice over there that might be important or interesting, but let's carry on first of all. Uh, okay, so there is this thing, noxious fumes. Let's see what we can make out of this. But yeah, as I told you, we are looking for Minsk. Oh, yeah, okay. There is the lever there. It's recently been um, turned uh, back. As I told you last episode, he was um, enchanted. He became a stone statue. And now that he's uh, back, apparently he is with the absolute. Because he's being brainwashed, basically. He's got a tadpole and he's following uh, this shapeshifter Yahira. So we're basically just looking for him here in the sewers, as we were told he would be. Uh, a map of Baldur's Gate depicting upper city, lower city, and outer city, as far as Worms Crossing, as well as Grey Harbor, and the near course of uh, Cointar. Very well then. Let's get going. And it's fairly interesting where this is going. Halsin. No, you can't be here. It's not safe. She has my scent. Run. What? Do not Orin. stop until you feel sunlight and fresh air. What are you doing down here? Run from who? Orin. Orin. Orin the Red. <laughs> she tormented me with blades and and hot irons. I resisted. But then she forced me to drink a foul brew. The rabid, cursed blood of all manner of beasts. I lost control. I felt the bear take over. Blood crazed. And she forced me into a cage. Along with... <laughs> with children taken from the streets. What? I was powerless to stop myself. Their screams. Her laughter. It's all I can hear. I do not deserve to see the sun again. Fucking hell. She's too strong. You have to turn around. Go. Let me buy you some time. She's coming for you. Oh, oh, oh hold on. I will not run. I have no fear of Orin. Yeah, fuck that. Then you are an evil Oh, this is fucking beast. Orin. Then your druid fucking friend. hell. <laughs> Should have seen it. Of course. Look at it. Father's favorite, all lost and wandering. Have you forgotten the way home? <laughs> Should I set your lap dog to screaming? That could help you. Oh, so she way. actually captured him. He, he, she's, she has house in them. For real. Fucking bitch. Melodramatic. Better to be dull and brittle. A mind mangled beast. No talent. No beauty in your atrocities. A blunt blade like you is not fit to carve Ball's glory. Thick headed and foolish to let the Bainites' heirs corrupt you. Gorta 
Ash betrays us, Bloodkin. He sets a leash to our slaughter, uses us to drive the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill the tyrant, smear him across his rock rotten halls, and pluck the netherstone from his carcass. Then, oh, that's what you want. Too, the sweet slaughter kin. The winner claims the stones. Ball's true chosen. The loser rots on his altar. Oh, that's what we do at once. And I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. So, this was Orin's intention. A combat against a fellow scion of Baal. Witnessed by the Lord of Murder himself. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Warren's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. So it's Halcyon's life on the line. Hold on, hold on a minute. Okay, she's not in conversation. Hmm. Let me try this. What? Such blood hunger thickens your marrow. Find my temple. There What's that one uh, set back there? Huh? I've got a long what happened? Head. Who was that? Oh, right. Hopefully we, we didn't kill Halcyon. All right, so this is the Emperor's uh, old hideout. And in here, I explain you the movie. Here, you can interact with a lot of stuff. And uh, basically, you will trigger him to tell you, um, well, backstory and whatnot. Uh, Duke Pelin Stelmane. That's interesting. Um... Hmm, okay, so that's interesting. She had a visitor several days in a row, but she cannot, she could not remember uh, who he was or how he looked. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's a few gold and some things that can be useful. We made, a, we made a, a lot of gold at the bank. Ah, okay. Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate for the sword cost. Mm. Okay, we read that before. Very well. So up here, I don't really know. Ah, okay, so... This is the Emperor's old hideout. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. Very well. Well, there ain't much here. No traps, please. <laughs> I never heard that one before. Why are you guys going over there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. That's weird. Okay, okay, I can finally get out. Oh, that was a bit weird. Never mind. Let's look around. That's curious. 
An empty brain jar. An old container for brains. Empty. Shame. It would have been nice to find one to sustain me now. Hmm. Little head soup. Little head soup. A favorite meal of mine. When I had need of meals like that. Ah. Yeah, so you can basically interact with anything, like this for example, and he will tell you something about it. Right, so he would eat uh, criminals and stuff, obviously. The Sword of the Emperor. My own sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. Oh, very well. Let's have a look at it. Well, it's nothing too crazy, but... <clears throat> we can have it just in case. Mm, very well, we saw a few things here. Don't really remember what sh shown. Uh, fork. That's curious. Oh. The butter knife is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore, but the memory stirs something in me still. Very well, there is a, this painting. That is Berlin Stelman. Ah, he, he, he does seem to be... Something over there. Yeah, we, we already saw it. He seems to be actually se uh, sentimental about it. But so th that's what it makes it so... That might be worth a look. Uh, intriguing to choose. We don't know yet if we trust him because everything points out that mind flayers cannot change and so and whatnot. But, you know, things like this. See? My old wardrobe. The home of all my disguises. We are what we appear to be. And so appearances matter. Alright, let's have a look. Um, heavy armor. Uh, you cannot be frightened. If the, if the world is infested by a mind player tadpole, they gain a plus one to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Well, that's pretty good. But when you get less a AC, so, you know. What about this? Uh, charm or frighten a creature to gain 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Strength plus one. Well, nothing too crazy, but, you know, it's pretty alright. Anyway, I saw a button here. Oh, okay. Who are this? The ma these are Githyanki. They got portals open. All of this is underground. Okay. Oof. Very well. Did did I catch anything? I ah, just the other button, really. Well, the saving is making itself. So, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is to go out of the city. I guess we gotta get going. We probably will fight us anyway. But yeah, just get it going. Let's see. What a pleasant surprise. Here you are, as brazen as described. The traitor who would steal from our queen. So yeah, they're looking of for us, you basically. Had, didn't you? From the elithid you carry inside the astral prism. How quaint that we should meet here, in the very place that it once called home. We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. Most Elithids prefer to dominate their thralls through transformation. Yet here you stand, only partially transformed. Tell me, what did it offer you in exchange for your servitude? We should have really broke uh, Lacey around. 
uh, I know very little about this underground. Ah, uh, there is no servitude. The Elith is my ally. You have fallen prey to its manipulation. Ah, uh, story ends here. Says the servant of Flacky. Prism, purge it of the Elithid interloper and restore it to our queen. To queen is evil. I'll send you home your own box. Death will be yours and yours alone, gate slave. Hataka! You guys do not have it properly. Okay, so uh, there's two guys here. It's that one there. And over here, there's three of them. Right, so let's see how we manage this. It's the beginning of the episode and we're already fighting. I should, would have hoped to... Well, yeah, we need to get it going through this so we can make our way through more lore interesting stuff you will you will have to understand that i want to bring a star on here i don't have the range to hit her that's not nice very well i guess it doesn't really it's matter okay carla is a little bit Covered. closer here the right thing to do would be to kill the portal one, this one. The portal closes and no more you think he can come through. But this one has a crossbow and the crossbow crossbow ones are pretty hurtful. Oh, the camera there. Oh, she's right there, okay. Oof, that was a good one. Uh, I'm gonna cast the frenzy. We have five charges. Very well. So Astarion does not have a shot here. That's uh, a little disappointing. If I use the action. Do I, do I lose my shot? I can do this. At least. To put some damage into it. Oh, there it is. We manage. Somehow. Pretty well. Uh, mm, she's too far away. I was thinking on something here. Maybe to to do this. Okay, let's see. Hmm, almost. Let's give it a try. Maybe it works. It didn't work for either of them. But maybe coming here oh and he didn't <laughs> he didn't cast down there anyway can't even catch my breath right well i can fly so i'm gonna go with uh with carlac and then i can just fly back Put some damage on this guy. Uh, right. How much is that? Uh, not that much. Let's see. Remember that the Githyanki... Uh, I did the dominance there because those guys, remember, they can do a uh, whole person. And also the Githyanki that uh, have 200 swords. I didn't work for anything. <laughs> okay, there is the whole person. The Fucking idiot. Oh, this they frighten a stallion. Hmm, that's not good. It's 
So yeah, they can parry the ones that have 200 swords. If you think they have 200 swords, they can always parry. So you gotta take that off somehow. I think I could go but it's a good idea to do. Mm, well, the hero doesn't really have anything of use for this kind of situation. Maybe, maybe the. Mm, late. How much is that? Okay, not too bad. Oh, there you go. Psionic backlash. It's always Carl, like the one that gets the whole person for some reason. Do I make more damage with this because I'm melee? I don't think so. Oh, well, it's not bad at all. Okay, he did the attack. It's just bugging. Right. Ready. You finish. Right. No rest, be you wicked or wise. And if I get the execution, he's dead. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's see what they got going here. Well, the usual Githyanki stuff. We're very, uh, we're really good in in gold. We don't really. Um, we don't really need to be looting anymore. Um, what are we like? Seven? Nine? Nine thousand gold. While when we were at the bank, we really made some money. Remember that we spent like 5,000 on the statue and then we were broke for a while. Oh, look at that. Uh, psionic movement. When a Githyanki cast fly, their next melee attack deals an additional 1d4 psychic damage. Okay. That's not bad. We'll see if we can do something with that. And most of the usual Githyanki stuff. Now, what is this? Okay, so this is something about Gortash. Nothing else to read around here, it seems. Uh, Shield of Sylvan. Mm, none of that is really, is really too important. A silver key. You guys know we love keys. Hmm. Some rule book on the absolute. The silence. The following individuals are a threat to our operations and need to be silenced. Uh, Lilar Tharant of House Ali Bakar. Okay, so a list of targets, it seems. What else? We got the key. Maybe I need more pockets. Mm, probably. Inroads by arm dealers, Gortash, and nothing else really. Right, what's the over here? The psionic detector's been activated. There must be Gith hostiles nearby. Oh, okay, so yeah, and this is uh this is not a TP, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the tavern on the Night Fingers, and you're supposed to go through it, and you get here. We did it, we did it backwards. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, just so you know. Apparently, we did it backwards. Like you should get through through there to here in the underground. You will fight these guys, and then you have to move forward, which is kind of weird because. That's not the way Oren uh, show herself to us right now. So 
but you, you would go through the um yeah through the emperor's hideouts and then you would go down you know further you think you can go down here where we were before and yeah there's another door over there Yeah, what's going on? Fighting. What's this? A heretic in our That's head of Paul Belief. In the Dread Lord's name. What? What's going on here? Oh, they were killing refugees. Look at that. Killing refugees with a crossbow, you bastards. Ah, uh, well, look at this, 70, uh, 76, 28, you, th you really guy, really guys think you're a match for us? Oh, she got unstoppable, look at that. There you are. I'm gonna save that. Go on, Karlak. Hop. There you go. Still standing. No matter what you heard. Another fight. Let's go. I can just get there with flight probably. Look at that. Woo! Oh, you didn't. Very well. Really? You really thought that would work? Right. So that's the refugees. What? What? They stepped on a trap. Only one of them died. Oh, that's unlucky. Well, yeah, that's... Uh, wait, what's her name? Oh, almost looked a little bit like Auntie Ethel. Oh, that's very sad. That's very unlucky. We saved them. They die anyway. Anyway, remember, down here, we are looking for... Minsk who is being brainwashed and we have a, a lot of things going as well but yeah just don't forget about it it's uh, very important and down here apparently we can get uh, get through a lot of uh, other missions uh, I already didn't know I've been doing a little bit of my research holy shit well don't step on it lads Come on. Ah, there is a uh, few things over there. Okay, the door is locked. How locked is the door? Does this key work? It would seem so. Oh, who are you? Oh, it's them. This is the kid we we free, and this is the girls, the guy from the girls. Oh, this is where they they came. My children. I thought they went to the Underdark. My sweet ones. What have they done to you? I'm hungry, Father. I'm so hungry. It hurts, Father. The hunger. It never stops. Yeah, so the, Please, they are now spawns. Do you know of anything that can be done? Oh, let them feed on animals. It's the best you can do. I put them over my out of their misery. Damn. Well, the only thing, yeah, to feed on animals. I've been fighting it, but I think you're right. Better that than they start feeding off humans. Hmm, interesting. I didn't know they came here. At least I'm not alone. 
I, I could not have borne that eternity. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for everything. Oh well. It's a bit bleak. But what have you? You can't have it all. You can't um save everyone. So yeah, I, I never explored too much of this uh oh we got a waypoint, nice. Never explore much of the sewer. So I've been trying to do a little bit more research as well, but not so much because I don't like to get too spoiled. Uh, especially with so little things that I don't know about the game already. You will understand I play uh, my first share of hours, so... There is something that I don't know. Um, I kind of want it to remain that way, so I can experience it myself. Very well. Oh, that's a kid. Wait, that's Arabella. What the fuck happened here? Arabella seems not to notice Arabella. you as you approach. She's as intent on examining a peculiar stone as she is unbothered by the corpses littered on the ground. Arabella. Oh. Hey, I had a feeling you'd show up. It's sort of our thing, like it's fate or something. Check out the stone. It's magic. Incredible, right? Oh, that's true. She's learning like a lot of magic. Uh, it just looks like a stone to me. There are corpses everywhere. What happened? Have you been on your own this whole time? Yep, and I like it that way. Bone Man told me to follow the weave, to let it guide me. I've learned a lot thanks to him, and I'm still learning. Withers. Withers is a whole mystery. Uh, there are corpses everywhere. Bandits came at me with daggers. They didn't know who they were messing with. Oh. I told you. Well, fair enough. I've learned a lot. Fair enough. What makes this stone so interesting? Oh, you can't see it. I can. And it's wonderful. I can't describe it. You'd have to see it for yourself. Oh, well, fair enough. Yeah, she's uh, upgrading her magic. Let's see. Oh, it's... A Really rough dice roll. I got four. Okay, let's give it one more try. Look at that. <laughs> you were flooded with memories of the distant past. Creatures slain, lovers reunited, spells crackling through the air. The stone holds records of all who have passed by it. Arabella is collecting them. It's as natural as breathing for her. Hmm. That stone is incredible. I saw past events as if I'd been there myself. And I've only scratched the surface. I want to know everything. Bone Man was right. The weave will take care of me. I just need to listen. Oh, well. Don't worry about me. Fair I'll enough. be just fine. I'll see you soon enough. Bone Man said so. Oh, so you're still in touch with Withers? That's... That is interesting, nonetheless. That is curious, you would say. Yeah, there's uh, bandits here. Four bandits, she took them on her own. You can tell she's been going places. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Come on, lads. <laughs> Very well. Method, like Boney from the circus. Okay, so this uh, that's where we came from. Cranium rats. Well, they don't seem to to be aggressive. Uh, another locked door. Just gonna show the key. Here it is. Oh, it's boss. Boss, he's talking to a draconid. We should have brought Lysel, right? Okay, we uh, we wanna bring her for this alone. Okay. Very well. Okay, here it is. Uh, who's this uh, draconid though? Tell me what you see. You're here with boss. What I see is an ally. Strong build, scale, scale skin. You're a dragonborn. I see a man asking a question. I am not. I am in no mood to answer. Man, is there is anything uh, unusual about him. Mm, insight. How bad is it? Oh, we've been lucky today. His voice carries the weight of untold centuries. Mm. His ridges are scarred with uncounted battles. This is no dragonborn. This is a red dragon. The very same who carried Voss near the Gith crash. You are the dragon. It is so. Call me Kudenos. Master of Flames, Splitter of Skies. I will be the one to carry Voss into battle against Vlakith. Oh, and look I at that. I will be the one to breathe the flames that melt her. More than I could count. Oh, really? We were pacted by the Archdevil Tiamat and forced to serve the Gith Yankee. It is to the people that I'm loyal, not to the Lich Vlakith, a corpse in Gith clothing. I know Orpheus. Oh, you look at that. Just as I knew his mother. A new future will be planted in the wake of the comet. Until we meet again, mortal, I look forward to fighting alongside you. Vlakith will tremble at the sound of our roar. Ah. And her allies. Can they be trusted? What? You ask the wrong question. It is not a matter of can. It is a matter of must. Whether by fortune or necessity, fate made its choice. We're supposed to be doing. Zell was the opportunity we prayed for. This may be Oh, okay. Very well. Kithrak Foss, may the astral sea be still as you cross it. And may your mind be of steel so your blade may be of silver to Lakmagir. Have you retrieved the Orphic Hammer? Will our prince's chains finally be broken? We do. We, I have it. I've retrieved the hammer. The prince of the comet is not dead. The prince of the comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from the Lich Queen's tyranny. The prophecy is one step closer to fruition. Gith's son will soon ride against Vlakith Voss, and I will follow him into battle. And you will wield the greatest gift Mother Gith ever granted her dauntless children. A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith, the great liberator, and her unforgotten son. Istik, 
Now that you have the hammer, you must find a way to enter the astral prism. What happened to his ear? I still don't know. Smash Orpheus's bonds. His cry will shake the planes, and I will fly to your aid. The prince of the comet will sear the heavens again. First, we'll defeat the absolute, then, we let the Lich Queen tremble. Think again. I will oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, okay. You need to let me into the prism. Is there any way I can convince you? I will find a way to free. Oh. Is there any way I can convince you? No, there is not. Oh. When I am done with the Gith Princeling, you may do with him as you like, but not a moment before. Questions, Istic? You seem to be lost in thought. You're gonna have to figure out how to get in. Getting to the astral prison will be complicated. Yes, but you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. Uh, since that will be foreign, and he's got attacked. Will he attack if? Well, no, he did. He we already asked him this, didn't I? The prince of the comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Gaich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name, but he will see reason. I promise you. Very well. Istic, friend to Orpheus. Together we will end the elder brain which shakes this city. Then I turn my sights to Vlakith, the queen of deceit. When you break Prince Orpheus free, his psionic cry will alert us. I will fly to your side. Together, we will fell the Elder Brain and thwart the Grand Design. Well, that is very cool. Look at that. Silver Sword of the Astral Plane. It's better than mine. Uh, and this is when I I start to rethink my Lay Cell build. Maybe we'll do a Warrior Dexterity or something like that. I don't know. Because, I mean, look at this. Well, I can use it myself, right? And I will for a while. But look at that. When wielded by Ithianki, this weapon deals an additional 1-6 psychic damage. And uh, Ithianki holding this weapon has an advantage of intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Saving throws resistant to psychic damage and cannot be charmed. Weapon enchantment plus 3. Mine has plus 1. It is really good. Look at that. Uh, there it is. Look at my... Uh, what do you see? It? Okay, there, over there in the... Here? 9... 19. If I put that on... 11, 21. It's really good. We're gonna have it. We're gonna take it for a while. But we're probably gonna give it to Lysel. At some point. Since I was old enough to hold a blade, I've dreamt of wielding a silver sword. The swords cleave both meat and mind, body and brain. To swing one, mesmerizing. To be slain by one, agonizing. Everyone I bleed with the sword will be my tribute to Prince Orpheus. When you look at that history, oh, minus one. Uh, think of your knowledge of Githyanki Silver Source details. Okay, let's get this one for you guys. We're not gonna be seeing much of Githyanki in in the upcoming episodes. It's gonna take a little while, so just for you guys. You recall another fact about Silver Swords: the Githyanki forbid their use by all other peoples. Oh, so we using it right now, it's uh, sort of a sin. Only Gith are permitted to wield these swords, right? Could these swords be, uh, this sword be enough to break Orpheus free? No, we got the hammer. Don't worry about that. Uh, only Gith are permitted to wield these swords. Only Gith's children may wield swords of silver. Unless a Gith Yankee grants the right in exceptional circumstance. The Illithid Grand Design nears. The true heir is shackled. 
These are exceptional oh, very well. I grant my allies the right to my silver. Oh, look at that. Yeah, she said allies because she didn't want to say a wife, obviously. Uh, a Kithrak silver sword is more than a weapon. It is an extension of your will. An entire limb unto itself. You merely need to think strike, and it strikes. The sword carves the correct path and carries your arm with it. The ancient slates tell us that each sword holds a fragment of the living gate. A flesh portal made from the stuffs of nightmare. The silver injures the body. Oh, the gates I don't have that check. The mind. A formidable weapon against Gaith. I will bring. I will not. Uh, I won't forget that check. I will bring it next time we go through um, Gizian Kilor. Or the prince's honor guard would have already fractured his prison. Only the Orphic hammer can break Orpheus free. Right. Very well. Let's see. What else have we got? Right. So that would be it. We'll say goodbye for the meantime and bring Karlag around again. Right, so. Ah, oh, the Greece. <laughs> Very well, so there's a lot going on here. Ah, oh, who's that guy? Oh, okay, so we do have a fight around here. Very well, we'll come to that at some point. Not just yet. Something I was curious about here where we met uh or boss we have this little chariot you know it could take us places we'll come back to that as i said it's in it's a big place and a place that i have not uh, explored entirely so we'll we'll do as much as we can and uh, this ladder i think it takes you to the city i think you get out from there Mm, these blobs are like Dark Souls blobs. You see more more voices over there. There's a lot of things to do. We'll do everything. Don't worry about it. That might be worth a look. Uh, an expert expert uh, excerpt torn from what appears to be a larger journal. I need to get away from Ailis for a while. We've been hiding down here for a while, and the dark is beginning to get to him. He keeps pushing his fire further and further into the tunnels, and he almost burned Badaki before I could get him out of the way. If those uh, two can't keep their heads straight, then I have to for all of us. Badaki, it's a merchant. Uh, and I think he appears somewhere else, in the, in, like in books and whatnot. What now? Because he's a, he's a mute, he can't speak. But I think he just doesn't speak. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, a lot of things. No one back Very home nice. This. Loose stone. Oh. Very nice. We got people That's over curious. there. More of this journal. Uh, okay. We have nowhere to go. Baraki wanted to try the guild hall, but there's too many different crews there. Too many eyes and ears that might be reporting back to Ortosh. And his damn cult. It's just Baraki, Ailis, and I. We can't trust anyone else. Alright. Another loose stone. Where is it? Complete journal. Mm -mm. Hey, let's park it. Don't be mad if you guys, uh, if you find this, uh, boys. I'm not trying to keep the treasure from you. We just ripped off quarters, and if I know you, to uh, I know you total, you're going to spend it all in the one spot and draw, draw the bastard arch to, to be noticed. Ah, uh, very well. So she's gone. 
Uh, I don't know why she... Uh... Okay. A little bit of the lore of what, what's going on here. We have a guy here. Ah, it's the rat. We watch, we wait. Oh, well, ominous nonetheless. What the hell? Ah, well, there it is. Voiceless Penitent Baraki. Level 10, we got a waypoint here. But most importantly, lads. Look at that. This is the sigil of Baal. With the blood and everything. You look at that. So this guy is a merchant. He doesn't speak. Penitent looks at you silently. Expectantly. Well, we can ask him. We can ask him all of these things. And he won't speak back. Who are you? The penitent doesn't respond. Holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. Yeah, you see? Are you alright? Same thing. The penitent doesn't respond. Holding your gaze almost He just doesn't speak. With his. Shall we try? There is the slightest flicker of acknowledgement in his eyes. Alright, so this guy has something that's very nice. First of all, he has this armor of moon basking. This is very good for a druid. Most, uh, most, more than anything for housing. It's really good for housing, but since we got Yehira, might as well put that on. And the bone spike helmet. As you remember, we have that armor. Uh, it's for Berserk. So, having the set, probably we are now ready to change Carl like, into an actual melee Berserk. That's really good. We got the bone spike uh, hell, uh, armor, basically. Uh, we're gonna take this. We always want more of this. And yeah, that's it, basically. 9,000. We are almost 10,000 um, gold. We don't even need gold anymore. Penitent blinks, you think? You were dismissed. Ah, okay, very well. Okay, so that's stealing. We cannot go over there. Mm. I cannot get that. Let's see. Let's see. C is for Sindre, Assassin Wizard of Thay. D is for Dead Stalker, Cultist who slay. Oh. Very well then. So yeah, lads. If you don't know already, as it's um, evident for the sigil and the symbol in the circle, we are getting close to Baal's, uh, Baal's temple. Or Orin's temple the because ancient it is a different thing. As you approach the door, it is rife with magic. It is two different Old places. Deathly magic. Yeah. A new vessel brimming with blood darkens Baal's door to baptize his dais most holy. Do you have proof of your faith to our Lord? Um. How can I prove myself? You must bear proof of the Dreadlord's favor. Or pay his toll of blood. Baal created me above all others. Open the... oh, okay, let's try that. Then you must know the way. Present the symbol. Proof of your father's favor. I don't have it. Then shut this door shall stay. Okay, very well. So we shall find another way around, I guess. So yeah, there is two different uh, temples. There's two different places. Uh, one is like Odin's hideout, and the other one is like the actual uh, temple of Baal. Something over there. Painted key. You guys know we love keys. Okay, so this is where we got out. Empty potion of sleep. 
Cobalt Thief. Oh no. Hmm. You almost get it then. It was uh, very well. Trust me. <laughs> uh, okay. How for a skeleton key? Seven. Nice try, Jackanape. Oh well. <laughs> There you are. I was not joking when I told you I di I barely explored this place. That water looks tainted. Better to avoid it. There's people over there. Okay, these are bandits, obviously. Or a uh, merger. Is there anything over there? That's where we come from, I think. Uh, okay. Gotta be careful with that. That thing, that water. Okay, they didn't fall. Ah. Watch your back. Well, another wall. Let's try and get started ourselves. 28, 45, 70. Okay, so I think I should start with that guy anyway, because this guy is going invisible. <laughs> Cinematic triggers. I actually got to... Uh, I actually... Booked it. Look at that. There's no sound. Oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that was a cinematic. <laughs> Moving. Yeah, that... Um, this guy's with the hood. It's the same... Oh, they got Sanctuary. He's got Sanctuary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like the other ones we face in the bank. That's it. <laughs> Oh, and they got unstoppable. That's pretty fucky when they have unstoppable. You really don't make damage. I'm ready. Yeah, he's got sanctuary. Break them. We're gonna be left with only the invisible guy. And as you remember from the previous episode, it's really stupid to to try and deal with him I think the best move is to stay uh, all together because that way he's gonna be surrounded or something or where well, he could try and drop stuff okay so this is what we're gonna do we don't have any lights or revealing, so we're just gonna stay here and wait for him to come. Well, he's gonna be doing that all the time, I think. So, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh, these lights don't reveal. Do they? No, no. This uh, this is for something different. Very well then. Have to try luck. Got it. How we try luck? Like last time. I'm gonna throw it around here, maybe. No damage. Okay, he's here. Around here or something. The dance macabre. 
I'm gonna stay close to my paladin. You still have time to surrender. And I'm gonna put Jackie Rock right beside Carlock. Oh, he's right there. I think I could have caught, killed him with the charm. Okay. So they always succeed their invisibility, uh, their saving throw. That's what you're telling me. Okay, so look at that. Look at we, what we're going to do. Carlock can make uh, damage in area, so I'm gonna bring the black, uh, black hole. The guy has to be here. So we're gonna do this. <gasps> Fucking idiot. Invisibility. That's what a fucking dick. I wasted the uh, I wasted the black hole, but anyway. Uh, a lot of things. And crossbow plus one. The arrows for Starion. Okay. So here's the thing. I explain you the movie because this puzzle was pretty different uh, on release so there is that door it's not a teleport it's actually a pathway we you gotta walk through it but okay I, I'll, I'll go read the note and I explain you the thing we got this knock here you probably want to open the sluice gate uh, so you can get into the system and muck, muck it out. To do that, you need to manipulate the valves to get the water level and heat level to their optimal levels at the same time. Don't get scolded. So, this thing was pretty tricky until you can, until you realize how it works. It's pretty loud. I'm gonna move over here to explain. And the thing is, you need them both to be there. The perfect thing. Water pressure and heat. And I don't I don't know if they changed I think they changed it because it was like pretty weird the way it worked. But in the end uh, what I remember working it would be touching this and then touching this because they're gonna move differently. Let's let's get out of the way. Okay so the temperature moves the water moves. It moves again, and this one didn't. Hmm. Right. There it is. And that's gonna push you back. And this one is gonna burn you, obviously. And I think it's they move very differently, so... And, and what you could do is if you have a lot of strength... Oh! Okay. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> we're a fucking paladin with 23. <laughs> yeah, you can use this and open it. But you have to succeed a acrobatics throw. And I, I think that's not really related to your strength. But anyway, this is open. And uh, the saving is making itself. We are to proceed. I think I lost a lot of my features for some reason. No, all of them are there. They just don't show when... Oh, who's there? Oh, that's a fucking Minsk! 
Let's go. Oh, here we go, lads. All the coins there. My thanks. It sounds like you made quite a mess right. getting it too. Right. So, one thing. All in a day's work for the Lord of Mercury. In this cinematic. Our lady. We serve only uh, I'll, I'll explain later. Of course. Been years since we Zenter and dabbled in god worship. So easy to get them all mixed up. And you, big man. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend too? <laughs> rodent? Enough! Oh. You will show the Stone Lord proper respect. And you will return to the guild hall and do as we have paid you to. That's the figure here, right? You're the boss. Wait. Flop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you. Right. I'm sure you have all of this in hand. We'll see you in the guild hall when the job is done. Oh, very well. Fight him. starts Find another way. right away. Yihira screams, do not kill him. Fight another way, please. Now, what I was trying to explain, it's in the cinematic. You have this uh, uh, gnome who is a merchant. But if you did not kill... Uh, the halfling merchant, very famous halfling merchant that we meet at the goblin camp and later on at Moonrise before the attack when Moonrise still uh, dominated by the bad guys she is the one that will be here and if you kill her because she's gonna try to run away I think if you kill her you get a pouch with 10,000 gold now I don't know if she plays a role and gives Gives it to you anyway, but yeah, just something for you to keep in mind. Uh, Carla like gets um, being blocked, and yeah. So another thing, very important. I'm sorry to not start the fight and not get get on with it, but it's very important. This mission used to be very weird when I play. Maybe they changed it because it was like months ago. But you need to. Uh, hit him with this non-lethal damage and you need to knock him out so that can be saved and can be turned into a companion into a playable uh, well a playable party member now i do remember achieving this after a few tries and right after when he w wakes up and gets on with it he stepped on something. I don't know what he stepped on because there is nothing here. And he burned himself and he died and I had to repeat all over again. Now, so right after finishing this, the cutscenes, go really quick into into uh, turn-based mode and throw him a healing potion or something like that. You will... You will... Um, you will thank me for that. Maybe maybe that was patched like months ago and I'm blabbing about here. But you know, just in case, why not? This feels good. Right, so I'm gonna put put a star here, I'm gonna keep bashing this one because I just want to see if she gives me the gold. Oh, and very important, again. That was a lot of experience. Maybe she does give you the thing. Uh, another very important thing. Uh, I forgot because I was... Ah, uh, oh, no, no, yeah. Non-lethal only works with melee. Melee damage. melee attacks do not forget that because you can say okay i'm about to kill minsk i'm gonna go non-lethal i'm gonna shoot an arrow to him and he dies anyway so okay there is a the fake yahira i think we should leave minsk for last now yahira doesn't really have much to do here got the ice storm Okay, there is... Okay, everyone is here. That one, that one, and these two. 
I'm gonna throw it here. Where is the hyena? I'm trying to... Oh, there it is. Alright. And I'm gonna cast this. Okay, let's see you trip. Oh, he didn't. Ouch. It's always Karlak. I got the better armor, but she's always getting... Oh, she doesn't trip. Oh, everyone's slowed. Shahira. Much uglier twin sister. Vince does not like this. <laughs> That's very good. Much uglier. That's fantastic. Okay, he tripped, you see? The hyena. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, so yeah, I probably should start hitting him already, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do it because Karlak is gonna make damage to every one of us. Actually, I'm gonna put it right away. I don't have the pommel strike yet. Um, okay. Wait, he hits me anyway? If I go here? Why? The reach of the sword, probably. Very good, very good. This is the easy part. Now. Call up the storm, you hear that? Oh, what a fucker. Starting to gonna last against that. Oh, okay, yeah, so he might have stepped into a fire attack or something. Yahira is almost about. To... Oh no, that's for Yahira. <laughs> Never mind then. Do I have non lethal? Yeah. But in any case, we should leave him for last. Truth be told. Now. Mm, this is gonna cost me. Disengage is an action, right? In position. Yeah, I lost it there, but it's better that way, I think. Go throat. Um... The hero is about to die. The fake one, I mean. Oh, you lucky bastard. Yeah, we we all got uh, the slows. I thought we were going to be friends. Hmm. Will that make it? Yeah, you see? He's being brainwashed. He doesn't know she's not the real one. Come on, come closer, mate. Stun a Starion. Mm. Those guys up there. I'm a fucking clown. Oh. Kill him. Find another way. Please. 
Yes, yes. Oh, I will this time. We are back, lads. We are back. Uh, let's do the same thing here. These three guys are together, so that make, make uh, might make it easier. There we go. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why I should have just leave Minsk for last. Uh, sometimes the, the reaction... Uh... You have an even much uglier <laughs> twin sister? Minsk does not like this. So yeah, sometimes this, the reaction, I do it on, on muscle memory, I just waste it all the time. And I use it now, because it, uh, he's still full HP. But yeah, I just have to remember to not do that. That fucker I'm going to kill. Oh, what are you doing over there? Wasn't she like uh, up here? Okay, now there's another one. I do not remember them being so many. Ah, she tripped. Look at that. Trip. <laughs> okay. Uh, non lethal, okay. Uh, yeah, because we don't have enough resources. Okay. Ouch. I don't know what that was. Ah, yeah, this is a Starion. I took the concentration off, and I'm gonna use the other one on this guy. Just because I want him to die. Yeah, here. Still alive. Don't have to forget about that. I started to invisible, so I'm gonna place myself. No, I think it's all right there because I had to kill the one up above. Okay, at least it wasn't Karlak. I really need Karlak. He's looking for a Starion. Right. So, where do I use this? I want to use it here. Just like last time. This guy is dead. That guy is still in the ground. She's underground? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, right. Radio. I need to disengage. I don't want to kill him just yet. Uh, I have a lot of HP. I'm just gonna take the hit. Yeah, I make a lot of damage. And my build is not even uh, done properly. Astarion. Shape changers. Very well. I'm gonna move a Starion. I can't move it really. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We got this. I'm gonna do that. Uh, provoke enemy attack from who? I'm a twat. This is the fake one. I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even remember that. Die. What do you mean, yeah, hero? Look at that. Look at that. 
Yeah, here are what? Yeah, that's too weird of a shot. Just kill the the hyena. Pretty well. Hmm. I don't heal much, do I? Don't react, don't react, dude. No. I have non lethal on me. Now only means so non lethal. Remember, non lethal melee only. So, yeah, he's burning. I think that was what happened before he just went and died. Right. Uh, just in case, because I don't know if it's been fixed, if, if it was ever fixed or not. Uh, I got the non-lethal. I got melee. I'll strike you down. One last time. Right, we did it right. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage flaring brighter every moment. He won't stay down for long. Tell your ability to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will what? murder your cause. Get rid of him. This what? wretch has stood against your father before. You tremble to end him. Every part oh. of your rancorous body yearns for it. Oh, so this is really good. This is really interesting. I, I never saw this. So, uh, because... Uh, Minsk defeated Baal at some point, right? In the other games. Uh, you want to kill him, obviously, because of the Dark Urge more than anything. It's not that you want to kill him. Try and protect him. I must defy my urge. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. That's what I don't understand. Why do you want to kill him? Why does the Emperor want to kill him? Uh, his unpredictability saved the city before we need him. Perhaps you're right. Yeah. No, I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The mind flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! Oh, that's yes. hard as fuck. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. That's hard as fuck. That's a great fucking line. <laughs> oh. She bluffs, you think? It matters not help him. Yeah, it's a new matter. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours, a still lake 
pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by, battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jaira. You killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's <laughs> hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is dumb. <laughs> Jaira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first... You have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced mm. like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? Ah. Huh. Uh, there's a fight coming. I want every sore arm I could get. Some infected too. I know your actions weren't your own. A level head and a kind heart. It is well that Boo kept me from crushing either. I would be rid of this parasite. Minsk takes orders from only one tiny beast. And he is much cuter than any mind maggot. He is... Uh, he is... He doesn't have it. Where is he? So I explained I explain to you before Minsk and Boo before. So, there it is. Oh, he heals himself entirely. Nice. Very well. So he's off to find his friend. Letter from Oren. This is very interesting, lads. Pay attention here. The stone lord's skull echoes with absence, and the tadpole alone is not enough to feel it. Take on the crone's do uh, dust form and feel his uh, thoughts with all adventure, uh, adventures so that he might smile sweetly while he slaughters for us. And do not pull the rodent. If it is chittering gives the stone lord pause, then set it aside for uh, for me. So that we might give a, a great a, the great hero a final meal when his when his work is done so uh basically it says that um minsk was like too powerful to to be controlled by the tadpole alone they have to have this whole charade of uh, yahira well the fake yahira and whatnot okay let's see um, okay, this is not very important. This whole year here impersonation go uh, to your nobly head. Mm, you don't even drop out of it when the Stone Lord is asleep. Moreover, a simulated boss or not, you don't have to be openly disrespectful when ordering the rest of us around. <laughs> your Harper gig won't last forever, and then you'll be one of the Shalar again. We'd rather be your friends. <laughs> So the one, this one got uh, caught in the method, as a methodic actor. That's funny. That was Minsk, the Minsk, part of the crew who saved the city from Saravok all those years ago. To know who the Stone Lord is or what the hell he's gotten himself into, but that man is a legend. Oh. she really likes them legends. I mean. Who wouldn't? Anyway, so Minsk is off to seek his friend. We are going to follow him, but first, we are just going to have a look around, see if there's anything we shouldn't miss. I think with this, you go to the city. Oh, there's a chest there. Some gold.
Oh, there's a lot of things here. What's going on? They don't come. Oh, look at that. Nice. The paintings, you know we love the paintings. A lot of gold. The Stone Lord sketches. His drawing. A series of line drawings in various stages of completion, each grow more detailed than the last he's practicing. As if the artist is struggling to remember exactly okay what the subject is. Some manner of fur rodent with an active intelligent face. So he was snapping out of it, you see. It was needed a whole thing to go uh, to happen for them to get a hold of Minsk. That powerful he was. Why don't you guys come in here? Very well. Still alive for that progress. So that would be it for the, uh, for this area, I would seem. We saved Minsk, which is pretty difficult. Oh, there he is. What's this about? A warhammer. A worn but still capable Looks warhammer, like history, sized for a halfling. What? Sorry. What a hammer! Looks like it has a history too. A worn a but still capable Looks warhammer, like sized for a halfling. Sized for a halfling. Uh, that wouldn't be the guy uh, Wolverine, right? A humble turnip. Dinner? Preserved by drying. Mm. A male fist, fist in the fire cam armor style. Nice mask. What's the story here? Mm. Can you tell me the story? Nice mask. What's the story here? No, the narrator doesn't say anything about this mask. Oh, that's interesting. I cannot pick it up. What's going on, Minsk? Huh? My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear. And stay your hand. <laughs> Trust in Minsk. Huh? <laughs> the Hira's reactions. Ah. Uh... Yeah, we do trust him. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Ah, well, there you go. Gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. <laughs> no? You are certain? Oh, <laughs> such boundless compassion. You are all heart. And whiskers. <laughs> and cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Mins to stamp out. But... We need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a That's villainous cool. one for the clawing. Understand? You, this is Boo. <laughs> Look at that. Boo, meet you. 
<laughs> is that all right? No, what the fuck? It's a fucking honor, lads. No, it is a hamster. Ah, okay. <laughs> giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. Okay, there it is. It's Those a giant. It's a miniature giant hamster, space hamster. Sorry. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as. Ooh. Us? Why do you use such language? Oh. Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half, and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. <laughs> what? He says we will join with you, and cleanse Baldur's Gate of evil. Together. An honor. Let's go. Minsk is honored indeed, but you have not the space. Hmm? Oh, right. So now, now he can become an ally, a companion, right in the party. We've done it. We done did it. Let's go. So we could just send him to camp right now, or we could, mm, because it's, uh, yeah, the thing it's, we cannot bench Starion just yet. As I told you, there are things that he needs to do still, although we finish his quest, uh, his storyline on Ravelin. But taking Karlak out, mm, also, it's a bit of a bummer right now. So I'll think about it for the next episode. I'll turn to wait, wait for me at camp. Who and I are most adept in the doing of things, but as you wish. To camp then. For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings. <laughs> and there he goes. We don't need it, lads. Let's go. Oh yeah, and I don't think I show it to you. Maybe it works either way. Okay, so we have 8,000 gold. I don't know who has my other half. Okay, uh, Stadion has 3,000. Yeah, he's been the one doing this, the sellings. So, uh, since we finished that, I want to show you a little something. Remember that I told you about the trader? That this is not the trader that is in this cinematic, only because we killed the other one, the famous halfling trader. Okay, so pay attention to this 10k, 10,000 gold. Look at that. Yeah, so she gives it to you anyway, even when she's not the right one. Or almost 20,000 gold. We don't even need gold anymore, but there you go. We're stacked. And from here, we are going to go out of this, uh, out of the, um, out of the sewers. We're gonna go into the city. But actually, we are going to go by to come back here for to do a few things that need doing. Uh, I actually don't know where you go from here. Oh, okay. That's... Don't step on the trap, please. Just walk on the side. Ah, oh, okay. Let me see. Right. From the side, lads. Don't step on it. Ah, there we go. That might be worth a look. So yeah, I think we did everything backwards. Look, there is a disarm uh, trap. Disarm tool. I don't know what this is. Clicked. Ah, so that opens the door, I think. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know where this takes you. To the city. Huh. That's uh... be the scourge of the hells. Now flowers can make me cry. Aww. Each their own, I suppose. Although I am right. 
Oh, that was... That was brilliant. But yeah, I don't even know where we are. Look, we haven't even come here yet. We went through the whole of the... Uh, well, not, not the entire under sewer. But yeah, we're gonna leave it here for today, lads. Minsk will join us in the next episode, I believe. We have a few things to do on that regard. But yeah, I don't know. No, we, we can't bench Starion. I don't want to bench Karlak. It would be pri uh, it would be optimal to bring Yehira and Minsk together. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. But we're going to leave it here for today. I hope you enjoy. I hope it was enjoyable. I'll see you in the next one. Be good. <laughs>